Well, hi everybody, it's Lisa Tamati here, and today I've got a very special guest from Zero Twenty Two Sports Co. Mark Drew, welcome to welcome to the show, Mark. How are you doing? Me, yeah, very good, thanks. It's uh, it's a bit wet down in Wellington, but uh, I guess that's just a normal day. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty much for Wellington. Well, to be fair, we haven't got it any better up here, so <laughs> too miserable. So, everybody, Mark Drew is the founder of. Um, he hit what well, he has all these different brands under your brand. So, Mark, take it away. Tell us what your brand is and how it all works with what you do. All right. So, I guess essentially it started off with um, with Tailwind Nutrition. So, um, that has been going for about four years in New Zealand, and then as it um, sort of as it developed, um, uh, I. I one of the one of my fellow sort of agents in Singapore has uh, a number of other brands, and essentially what I've done is looked at those and try to incorporate them into New Zealand. Now, admittedly, there's a there's a smaller market here, but some of the product I actually use myself. So, um, you know, the orange mud, uh, the cramp fix from time to time, and um, the Alpinamento sunglasses. Uh, but obviously, we couldn't put that under the Tailwind banner. So we've um, started this new, um, uh, I guess, company yeah. called Zero Twenty Two, and we've put those all under under that brand there. So there's a, there's a number of, I guess, affiliated endurance type products that um, that we now market under that. Um, but essentially, it sort of started off with the with the Tailwind, um, I guess, journey. Okay, so. So zero twenty two sports co. Can you spell that out for everyone? And I will put it in the in the caption below or wherever. Sure, sure. But it's quite a tricky one. It always gets me. I always get it backwards, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's that's the joy of having a wife who <laughs> who for some reason came up with this with yeah. this uh, with this name. So it took me about six months to get it myself. So yeah. it's actually it's it's the spelling. So Z E R O T W E N T Y. Uh, and then two, and the uh, the number two, and then dot co dot nz. Um, there, there is a story behind the why it's zero, why it's actually twenty two, but but essentially it's the yeah, it's the it's the letter zero twenty two oh zero twenty, number two dot co dot nz. Okay, yeah. so yeah, we'll, we'll have to blame your wife on that one because it is a difficult <laughs> one for us with dyslexia and put everything backwards. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Um, so Tailwind, let's start with Tailwind because it's a product yeah. that has got a huge reputation. Um, it's sure. something that I've used over the years and I recommend now to a lot of our athletes as well. Um, and where, what is the story behind Tailwind and why is it such a good product, Mark? Yeah, all right. So I'll start, I'll actually start with the founders. So, so they're in Durango, Colorado and um, uh, Jeff and Jenny, uh, husband and wife over there, family business. Uh, he was doing the Leadville 100, and the, and if you go onto tailwindnutrition.com, there's actually a short video of Jeff um, <laughs> getting yep. sick into a waste bin, and that's essentially how it started. So you know, we all know about the GI issues, you know, the 15 to 20 gels and the, and the cramping, oh. all the rest of it. Uh, so we've all been there. He was one of those people that that went there, and so Jenny was happily taking a video of him sort of doing doing his business in, <laughs> in the trash can, and he. <laughs> Like it's almost like Kiwi ingenuity, where he went back into the uh, into his kitchen and started um, developing Tailwind Nutrition. And uh, in, in his own words, he he used to have these little Ziploc bags and then sort of go into the car park and and hand them out to his mates, sort of like almost like, real yeah. drug dealing type stuff. Um, and and it just developed from there. And um, and it was kind of a weird. Um, uh, Sort of increase in, into 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 uh, or outside of the U.S. where my best mate is in Australia, and and probably five years ago he reached out to them and said, "Hey, look, in in a uh, he's a sort of a mountain goat trail runner," uh, and very cheekily he said, "Hey, look, can I look after Tailwind in in Australia?" And and to that at that point they had no footprint overseas, and they went, "Oh yeah, give give it a go." Yeah, yeah. And, um, and at the time, I was still sort of racing mountain bikes, and he said to me, "Hey, well, do you want to look after it in New Zealand?" And I went, "That's great," because we always had this 
dream about doing something healthy. And this, this um, really hit a chord. And it actually so happened that, you know, I, I, I had this uh, riding coach, but at no point during my training did she ever cover nutrition. Yeah. And it, it's actually coming full circle to where I'm now training with you. And, and it's funny, not funny, it's, it's refreshing to see that you're covering not only miles on the pavement or on the trail, but you're covering nutrition, you're covering wellness, you're covering core functionality. And I'm not trying to do this big sell here, but I, <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I, I really enjoy the holistic um, yeah. training program because yeah, it's it's really cool. I, I was doing the good miles and I was getting all the good um, uh, uh, times for my training. And, and coincidentally, my very next race, back then was my worst race ever, 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 ever. I, I yeah. cramped. I actually got to a point where I had to get off the bike. Um, and, 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 you know, it was like a month later that I had this conversation with my mate and Tailwind was born in New Zealand. Um, now, if only we had had those nutritional conversations, <laughs> it would have been a far better result. Result, exactly. So, uh, you know, and, and time and time again, we hear about people having the GI issues and stuff. Yeah. And, and so that's why I'm so passionate about Tailwind is because it, it really is a good product. And I don't care if someone's at the pointy end of the field or if they're barely making cutoffs. Me it's <laughs> just about epic stuff. And if that means that there's, and there are, we have some 70-year-old guys that are using Tailwind. Man, if I'm 70 and I'm doing an ultra marathon, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give myself a high five. And I just love that passion. And that's why I go nuts at all these expos and, and probably... Yeah, to, <laughs> my no, not hear this, but I just get really passionate about it um, because it's a good product and it allows people to do those epic things as well. Which is, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, whole, you know, they've got a, a family and a job and kids and all this sort of stuff, but they're still doing epic stuff. Whether that's a half marathon, full marathon, whatever it is. Yeah, um, I, I just love that connection. I genuinely love that connection. And this so. is why we love you and what you do because you're very passionate about what you do, and we are too. And and, yeah. I, and I wish I'd had a coach like Neil and, and me back 20 years ago when I started, or 25 years ago when I started, because I too, you know, reinvented the wheel, did it all wrong, and that's why we've made you know running hot and what to what it is and and our yeah. approach. And so we we have a very similar philosophy on that. And you and I both have. Uh, a love for the everyday person, the everyday athlete yeah. who's just trying to yeah. smash their goals. We don't really care about the pointy end of the field too much, um, yeah. but but love having. So what is in Tailwind that makes it so good for not getting gastrointestinal problems, which is very, very common in doing long distance running or in, yeah. in cycling, but definitely in running. Why, why is this not, why is it not cause upsets? Like, I've worked with gels and different products in the past and I've ended up spewing in many a bucket. <laughs> so I know what the, the problems are like. Why does Tailwind not cause this? All right. So there's... No, we're having some technical difficulties here, but bear with us, everyone. Funky. You want me just to go straight into that? Uh... Yeah, sorry. Hi, guys. We're back again. We had some technical difficulties, but uh, yeah, where you go there, Mark. What's in Tailwind right. that makes it so good? All right. So the, the, uh, I'm not too sure if you picked up last time. There, there's no, uh, I guess, what, what we call funky ingredients. It's, it's yeah. all natural. Um, and, and so essentially, the if you look at the ingredients, it's, it's um, you know, it's sort of glucose, sucrose, and then a full complement of, of electrolytes. Now, that's the simple, um, simple answer. The, the silver bullet is obviously the percentage of, of all that um, yeah. fitting into, into Tailwind. So if you have, to, as, as you probably know, if you have too much fructose, it does, it does give you that sweet taste, but it also could perhaps uh, cause the sort of gag reflex or stomach issues. Yeah. And, and, and so that's why, you know, as, as many people have experienced, when you're going through the aid stations and you're chomping down on the watermelon or, or any fruit that's high in fructose, it can actually um, sort of cause that sort of, um, sort of gag reflex. Um, 
But essentially, if you trust the product, um, uh, Tailwind uh, Nutrition has uh, the tagline, all you need all day, really. It really does have everything you need. Because basically what Jeff's done is mimic the composition of your sweat. So, I mean, it sounds pretty yeah. gross, but, that, yeah, but that's, yeah. the, that's the mix of your electrolytes. So you're not having to take any other gels, pills, whatever else. You just dial in um the um your two to three scoops so by that i mean your 200 to 250 calories per hour because that's essentially how much your body can can uh consume so you'll burn more but you won't be able to consume more and and um uh, so as long as you keep on track with that now the the um uh, the, the amount of water will will differ depending on on you know obviously if you if you're running through a desert like like you have or, or if you're running in a in a <laughs> in a Wellington day like like it is today um so so that could fluctuate from say 500 to 750 or so um but the amount of calories and electrolytes will stay the same being that two to three scoops per hour so um it's 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 simple because you're not having to um, you know dial in a whole lot of you know pills gels chomps all that sort of stuff. It's all in one, uh, and you um, you know it, 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 and 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 also it's sort of mild tasting as well. So typically you can have anything you want for for two hours or so, but it's after that two hour point that it starts getting a bit tricky with the stomach and the taste and that tailwind has a mild taste. You can go and go and go. And that's essentially why people can do ultra marathons and stuff just using tailwind. But obviously they do want to have some whole foods or whatever. So you just need to be aware that dial the calories down off tailwind, have your whole foods so that your, your stomach can and obviously digest that into the glucose and sucrose. And then you can yeah. obviously dial up your tailwind. And something that I'd love to see tailwind develop, <laughs> you can pass that on, mm. is, is um, it's a tablet form where oh, yeah. it doesn't have the calories, it just has the electrolytes. Yes. Um, because I'm, I'm, I'm one of these people that likes to sometimes train without the calories. Um, yes. Or I like to eat my calories um, yeah. and not drink the calories. Um, but what I do find really great is, um, and, and you've got caffeinated versions and uncaffeinated versions, yeah. and I prefer for the longer stuff than the non-caffeinated ones, yeah. me personally. Um, yeah. I think caffeinated's fine if you're over shorter distances and so on, but um, can cause problems, especially if you're using it every day as an everyday sort of yeah. thing as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So feed that back to the to the bosses over there. See if they can produce some yes. tablets without the <laughs> without the calories, and it would be great. That, but, is, um, that is on a roadmap. I'm not too sure yeah. where about it is, but there's you know because obviously we have these sort of internal conversations around um, everything from flavors to different types of you know where to next. What's the market saying? There is a there is there is that conversation going on in terms of when it actually sees you know hits the market world well that's that's another thing good good point you mentioned about the the caffeine in tailwind um, it, uh, there's an awful lot of science around why they settled on that 35 milligrams of caffeine per serve in tailwind so it's not there to be a pre-gym mix where it you know you you roll yeah. your eyes back and don't sleep for four days it has <laughs> everything to do with performance and performance for the Getting uh, I don't want to call it every person, but the average weight type person. So, yeah. um, you know, it's it's there, and, and probably as you've done either for the shorter distances or during that witching hour, sort of between yeah. two and the morning during an ultra marathon. Um, it's not there to make you jittery and and shake, and you know, it's it's there just to top you up, and uh, you know, so that's why it's sitting. Recently, yeah, so it's thirty-five milligrams. So that's a lot less than a, uh, than a normal coffee has. Oh, definitely, definitely. So, uh, but but we do need to make people aware because some people don't drink any coffee; they don't want caffeine yeah. and all that, and that's fine. The other the other thing you can do is, as I mentioned, you 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 can have you know your two scoops per hour. If you want to dial it back a little bit, you can have one scoop of caffeinated and one scoop of of naked as well. Yeah. So that naked um, tailwind you can either have on its own. Or you can have, you know, whether it's caffeinated or non-caffeinated, let's say you choose the mandarin orange and you don't want the full taste of mandarin, even though it's yeah. relatively mild, you can just do one scoop of mandarin and one scoop of naked. So you're still getting your calories and electrolytes. You just, 
I guess essentially diluting the taste of the of the mandarin, but you're still getting a slight mandarin taste. And, but... I, and I think that's really great too, because one of the problems that I've come up against when I'm doing ultras is that I start to dislike the taste of anything. You know, you start yeah. to especially anything yeah. too sweet, and that's why the naked one I find is is really good. Um, yeah. And because if you start disliking the taste of something, um, yeah. then you you often stop drinking, you know, and then don't get enough yeah. hydration. And so, yeah, great yeah. stuff to pass back up the line too from, yeah. from our end, I yeah. think. Um, yeah. So Tailwind, I th and, and I, I understand why the caffeine's, caffeine's in there because the caffeine yeah. helps speed the uptake in the body of the glycogen. So that there's, there's a real reason for it to be there. It'll help replenish quicker. But for you know, caution there if you are doing super long stuff that you know you can blow out and, and or if you're someone who's dealing with adrenal problems in everyday life, then you know, like yeah. I, I cut out caffeine. I don't have caffeine in my life because I'm yeah. stressed enough as it is. I don't need to have that extra <laughs> that extra shot yeah. and I know that I won't sleep as well and so on. And so I cut that out of my my diet and but that's you know fully dependent on on everybody's situation um so that's tailwind and that's why i like tailwind i think it's a fantastic yeah. product it's come from people who who've been there done that who know the problems um and i think it's great that they've got a few more things in the pipeline there um yeah. so we so they they go to your website for tailwind and where else can people buy tailwind if they're we had questions in the group this week, I think, oh, where do I buy it in Christchurch? You know, so do you have yeah. it throughout New Zealand, Australia? Yeah. So we've got a hair, probably probably two handfuls of, of retailers. We, we're obviously open to, to extending that and, and developing that. Uh, but the retailers, we list on our shop tab on tailwindnutrition.co.nz. Um, so if you and, and by all means just email or phone me if you if you're unsure I'm, I'm often getting calls or texts or emails about hey do you have you know a, a retailer in the uh, we, we do list them there and we do promote you know um, you know go, going local as well because I mean I, I do that as well if I'm buying any gear for my bike or anything I, I Typically use the, the retailers that that stock tailwind. Um, so so again, it's just good karma to to um, so that, you know, so that it. website is tailwindnutrition.co.nz. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, let's move on quickly to Orange Mud. I love yeah. Orange Mud's um, little hydration pack system. Yeah. Um, it's fantastic. It, um, tell us a little bit about that product. Yeah, so that's um, that I came about. Again, through through my connection in Singapore, so I I brought one of the packs back from me when I was when I was coming through Singapore, and again, it just happens to be um, a chap by the name of Josh who's who started it, and and again, he was from uh, Colorado, and again, a family business. Um, they they pretty big in the states now. They they pretty big in the U uh, the UK. Um, they they gaining traction in, 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 in Australia and, and they probably, well, yeah, they, we, we're still pretty small in, 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 uh, in Z, but, but the packs itself are, um, uh, you sort of covering your running, your riding, your adventure sports, um, uh, even stand up paddle boarding. For me personally, the pack just actually fitted my back mm. and it, and, and, and so I use the 12 liter pack a lot for my, um, um, uh, mountain biking and then they've got like a smaller endurance pack which I use for my trail running so that'll be a two liter bladder and and obviously I have all my um, soft flasks in the front and and there's also pockets in the front there and I and I often just stash a couple of cramp fix just just you yeah. know you know <laughs> I have the product, so I, I carry a lot of it anyway, and I do like to test it. So you know, I'll, I'll probably go a little light sometimes on the tailwind, and I just want to just check some of this product out. So that it all comes down to, I mean, I just need to really believe in the product, and so you know, obviously they 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 do work. Um, yeah, I mean, I've just found that the the footprint on the back. Is really good, and and uh, so my wife, who's uh, cheaper, she's, she's she's under five foot. She she uses the 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 um what they call the vest pack too. It fits her well, and and it's very easily adjustable for for guys and girls as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, 
So you just um, fine tune the the um, the pack. Um, I, I used to use another brand, uh, and and I just found it didn't sit all that well. And essentially, that's the only reason I've brought orange mud into New Zealand. <laughs> There's no business case. It's just <laughs> I really like the pack personally, and I went right. I'm going to just buy a whole lot, and hopefully someone. Um, oh, wow. likes, likes the likes the same things that I like. Um, yeah, I mean, there is a point of difference in that there there's some bottle packs, so that's sort of yeah, unique. One of those. And and people go, oh, you know, how how do I reach back there? But it is very easy to reach back, grab your bottle, put it back in. Um, but then if you're not quite there, or you're not ready to take or, or use a bottle pack, we do have. Um, hydration packs, you know, your your endurance packs um, that have a, a bladder system as well. So I we love the, I love the, I've got one with the bottle in it and it took, it did take a little bit of getting used to finding where the heck it is, but once I've got yeah. it, now I've got it dialed in. And what I yeah. find is it, it sits up very high, everyone. It's, it's very high yeah. on the back, so it's not down here and it's not jumping around. And I know yeah. we ladies often have problems with packs because uh, they don't sit on our, you know, we've got smaller waists and hips. So it yeah. keeps riding up, uh, whereas this one is just a, a, on my shoulders and it's, I've only got a little one with one bottle and it's got two little packs at the front that I put my snacks yeah. on my own in, which is really good. Yeah. Podcast or yeah. something. Um, so I really find that good and my husband can wear it at the same time. He can just get, re-stress just the straps. He's much bigger in the chest, obviously, um, yeah. and, and it works for us both. So I really love that, that uh, concept as well. Yeah. So, I think that's, so that's Orange Mud and Tailwind. Now let's go on quickly to Cramp Fix, um, yeah. which uh, my, I need to get more, some more for my husband. He's been cramping a lot lately. Not enough Tailwind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tell us how come, how, what, what's, what's Cramp Fix all about? All right, so, so they're based in, uh, in Brisbane and uh, again, uh, family business. And it, it's just so happened that there's just been a whole bunch of family businesses that, that we've brought into into New Zealand but I think it's it, it, it's a it's a good message that you know we we are able or I am able to reach out to the owners um, at any time they're very accessible throughout all those brands um, and therefore they, they back the product and and Cramfix are an amazing company uh, in that they've really helped um, uh, establish, um, you know, Cranfix in New Zealand. They, 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 I can't great. say enough about them. And, and the way I've sold it, or the way I see it, is it doesn't um, compete with Tailwind. It, it complements Tailwind. So basically, my message, and I'm hoping that it's, that it's you know, the, the message in the, in the market is. Um, you know, if, if you dial in your tailwind correctly, 100%, you, you won't need cramp fix. But we all know yeah, things you don't. in the race, it'll be hot, it'll be cold, you'll you'll drink all your tailwind in the first 5Ks and you'll have another five to go or whatever. Whatever yeah. happens, the cramp fix is there to either get you to the next aid station, get you to the finish line. And, and what you need at that time uh, as you're cramping is you need something that's going to um, work really quickly so that's why there's a, a you know i guess quite a strong taste to uh to cramp fix because it is sending a, a message to the nerves in the mouth to the to the cramping area yep. um I, i'm not a big fan of sort of hot curries or any of that carry on so i was pretty apprehensive of trying the ta the, the the cramp fix and I don't know if it's just me, but it, and often it does come down to personal taste, but I found the caffeinated cramp fix, which only has seven milligrams of caffeine, so it's, so it's very light in caffeine, but we do need to obviously, you know, highlight But it gets in quicker once again. Yeah. I just found that that was a milder taste, and, and, and to be fair, they're only 20 milliliter um, sachets, so, uh, you know, once, once, once it's in the mouth, you slug it back and... and you know, the, the, the job done. Um, you can, you do have the choice of actually swirling it around and spitting it out if you want. It's essentially, what you're spitting out is all the um, uh, electrolytes and that in, in the cramp fix, but the actual message will still get down to the cramping area as well. So if you wow. really, really, really don't want to swallow it, you can actually swirl it around for 15 or 20 seconds, spit it out, and the, the job in that getting rid of the cramp will still happen. But it goes right through yeah. the, the membranes of the yeah. mouth. That's, that's yeah, so... So, you know, and, and I've had um, I've had Tailwind um, ambassadors um, who I've given Cramfix to. One of them actually um, uh, uh, sort of 
podiumed at the at the at the old ghost and he yeah. the only reason he took it was was for that very reason that if he really 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 needed it yeah. and he well, did really really need it this year at the old ghost and he tried it and he he reached back to me and he went that stuff works man yeah, it's, it's not all nice. marketing because there is an awful lot of marketing in any type of nutritional yeah. product out there um so essentially i needed to know that a tailwind worked and cramp fix worked um you know orange is a quality product all that sort of stuff but you know so well i know like with cramping um I've had uh, what they call a tetany seizure before, which is where the whole body cramps. And, you know, look, you, it, it can get so bad, this electrolyte imbalance. And, okay, I do it, yeah. it extreme stuff. But you can die if you don't get your electrolytes right. Yeah. And if yeah. I had a product like Cramfix, it probably, you know, would have saved me from having this tetany seizure, which was the most painful thing I've ever experienced in my life, which is when the yeah. whole body cramps, including your heart muscle, yeah. which can lead to heart attack. Yeah you can die um so i'm definitely sold i i I, um you know we just had a a, my husband do the marathon a a couple of weeks ago up here and the last four k's and i didn't have my cramp fix and he was cramping and he was on on target for a pb he was going to be sub four p you know for him which was quite good and and then we just crashed and burned in the last four k's and i was just kicking myself that i hadn't bought the cramp fix (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it does work and it works quickly. So you do get sprays and stuff, you know, other products with sprays, but it'll take a bit of time to um, digest in the stomach and then send it to the, to, to, to the muscle. Whereas this is actually sending a message through the nervous system directly. To, so, so it acts a lot quicker. What's um, in it? What is actually in it that does it? So like magnesium? Main, yeah, the main ingredient is, is vinegar. So that's that sharp taste. Um, huh? But again, it's all natural as well. So there's no lab developed um, ingredient yeah. that, they, that they throw in there. So, and that was quite important because obviously the whole message about Tailwind is that it's, that it's you know, dairy-free, natural. vegan, natural, all the rest. So I didn't want to bring another lab developed product in and that, that sort of counteracts that message. So it needed to be natural and it needed to work and it needed to work quickly because obviously with people being different either some people take cramp fix like typically if i can just sort of use a uh, sort of a triathlon as, a, as an example um some some people if you do cramp a lot will take one sachet before the swim and then they'll have you know one sachet for the run and maybe one for the ride sort of thing yeah but but a lot of people can get through that swim without cramping and then they'll just take one. It's it's a twenty mil sachet. It doesn't weigh anything. It's not gonna weigh you down. It's a it's a good emergency product to have with you so that on the onset of or when you're feeling the onset of cramps, you can take that and it, it does it does work very uh quickly. Um wow, that's pretty cool. Does it have yeah. like the electrolyte like magnesium and, and yeah. potassium? Yeah. I know yeah. what yeah. I were potassium always not so much yeah. sodium um yeah. okay so let's go on to the last one alpinamente uh sunglasses yeah. why, why the spring <laughs> all right so this is a really funny story but um well probably not funny for for my bank account but again as i was traveling through um um uh, singapore uh you know i'd always wanted to catch up with this um, um colleague jerry Chua, who's, who's sort of a, like well known in the in the trail running community uh in in asia um she was stocking el Pinamente sunglasses um they are in, they they are carl zeiss lenses uh oh. and up to that point i didn't really know who he was but he's he's quite a big deal in um uh, camera lenses and um, glass lenses, so it's a really, really, really high quality lens. And it's and the glasses themselves sit really well on your face. So I do a lot of I actually do a lot of mountain biking with them because with the photochromic lenses, I can go through you know the foresty areas, I can go through open areas. I just don't have to take them off, and they they don't bounce on your face. So a lot of the other sunglasses are quite light and they will typically bounce around uh, and, and that's quite distracting either if you're running or riding, you know, when you're having to take them off and, and you know, because they're sort of bouncing around. Um, so I just found that they were really, really good quality um, uh, sunglasses. Now, the, the you know, I mean, they are, they, they do come at a price point, but um, 
I, I just, again, I just saw the quality and I went, I really like those. And I'm going to, and I literally brought like a whole um, uh, backpack of Alpinamanta sunglasses back into New Zealand. So obviously went to customs, opened it up and I had like, you know, 20 or 30 sunglasses and, you know, it was just insane. I actually had a, a full suitcase of um, Tailwind as well. So I was really going nuts through, 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 this, through that, through, through customs. That, you were drunk mule. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. And but to be fair, New Zealand customs were more interested in my bike and all that to, to make sure that all the mud was also I was, I was you know, I could distract them by saying, Hey, uh, have a look at my bike, but don't look at all the white powder that I'm bringing into the country. <laughs> I never had street cred as you know as a kid, but now I think I'm you know, anyway. Um but sorry to get back, to get back to the Alpinamantes, um, you know, we've um we brought them into New Zealand and and they've been a slow burner in terms of um uh you know, a gaining sort of market traction. But again, it, it was never about sort of taking over the market um, with, with Alpine Amenta. It's just a really good quality sunglasses that if you're wanting sort of one pair for um, for any occasion, I wear them for, you know, when I'm driving, when I'm, uh, I mean, I've got, you know, um, uh, I, just, I just kind of keep them in the car. And so if I'm going for a run, if I'm going for a ride, whatever, I know that I can put them on and they just, you know, change with the light and that, and they're such a good quality lens that that's kind of what I'm, uh, well, that's kind of what I've paid for. So, so the, the theme that's coming through with all of this, Mark, is that you're very passionate about what you do. You only bring products that really work for athletes, whether you're yeah. cycling, whether you're running, whatever you're into. Um, yeah. And you're not going to be a millionaire anytime soon, but you, <laughs> you, you, you're out there pushing this the good stuff, getting it to the right people. And you do a lot of supporting of local athletes. Um, and what I like is they're not all just the top end of the field. You've got a few like Fiona and people like that that are yeah. just amazing athletes, yeah. but you've also got the everyday blokes and girls. Um, yeah. And I love that about you. I think that that's really, really cool. And I think that your passion for the whole business side of it is um something that we want to support anyway definitely at running hot yeah. and we everybody we're going to be working together a, a lot with mark doing a lot of collaborations and helping each other and um because we're all in this for the passion of it and uh it's good to support other other people in new zealand doing cool stuff with cool products so yeah really glad yeah. to have you on board with what we're doing and Mark is doing the WUU 2K, the, the ultra in Wellington, and uh, he's training with us. So how have you been finding that, Mark? Oh, it's, it's actually been refreshing. I guess my, my, my reason for coming on board was, as you've mentioned, you know, your philosophy is very similar. In fact, it's probably the same as mine. Yeah. So that essentially was what attracted me to, to coming on board. And then... I thought, look, I don't want to actually injure myself. And, and like many other people, uh, we've, we've obviously had a yeah. couple of conversations uh, <laughs> around you know, overtraining and hitting the pavements and hitting the oh, hill, yeah. doing all, the, all, the, all, all, all that rubbish. I wanted to actually arrive uh, on race day um, um, fit and healthy and, and, um, and be able to um, run knowing that I haven't sort of overtrained and injured myself. So that's where you and Neil have really um, sort of opened my eyes to the type of training program that you provide. And so it's actually quite, even, even my wife says to me, oh, do you have core training in your program? I go, yeah, man, you can actually check it out. Yeah. And she goes, well, that's insane because so many <laughs> coaches are just about the kilometers. Wow. Yeah. time and so you've got it down to time where you say 45 minutes is enough for the day and I go because if that wasn't in my training program I'd be doing an hour 45 and killing myself so it's really really refreshing to see how you look after your athletes and again I'm not trying to put in a big sales pitch here but it is refreshing to see that holistic training program where I spend some of the days is as you know is is my core work is the hot knee stuff and it's great because you I actually I even showed my mom I said hey look check, check out the video and so I can actually show you what I'm going to do today so if I'm not quite sure what hot knees even means yeah. check on the video. it's so dead easy to follow and um, so awesome. the platform that you use is great it's easy um, the actual training program is easy like honestly I'm I sound like a sales rep here but I, I, I genuinely am excited 
because I, I don't, I'm not a runner. Like I, I, I don't. More on the mountain biking I've space. Run out from marathons. So this is really, really refreshing for me to hit the trails and feel so good. Like I, I come back from my runs. I'm like, man, I should have ditched riding long ago and gone into <laughs> running or whatever, you know, like. Yeah, um, I've converted you to ultras. Woohoo. <laughs> Next thing I'll be running through a desert, you'll be like, no, Mark, get away from that stuff. It's not good for you. <laughs> um, but it is, it, it's, so, it's so good to know that I'm, A, hitting a training program and, no, and B, not injuring myself. Yeah. Honestly. I mean, and that's what, so yeah. So, I mean, and like I said, we, we reinvented the wheel a hundred times before we got to, yeah. the, to this point in our lives. And, 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 and I know Neil saved my career when I came to him broken burnt out doing horrifically amount of kilometers and not getting anywhere and now we work with people on a very time efficient so people that are busy with careers and stuff yes. and in a very holistic approach because we don't want people to be burnt out in two years and that's what yes. we were finding with uh, with the old methods and that's fine when you're 20 or 25 you get away with it all you yeah, yeah. but if you're you know for in your 40s and you've got kids or, or 30s even, and you've got hormone troubles and stress and God knows what, then this is a much better and a much long, longer lived approach to, to your health yeah. and to your fitness. And, you know, we're all doing it to be stronger and fitter. I don't think many of us are going to be winning the Olympics anytime soon. Um, so for most of us, it's about smashing our goals, reaching epic things, achieving amazing things, but doing it without killing ourselves. And that's the goal of what, what we're all yeah. about. And it sends a good message to, you know, obviously to your kids and that. You don't want to get home and you be all shattered and injured and broken. And then you go, hey, you really got to get into this fitness <laughs> game because it's so good for your kids and you can hardly walk. Yeah, yeah. You get home and you're fresh, then it's, then it's cool. And then you can go do your 5K forest runs and stuff like that. And, and you know, um, it's, it's just, it's a far better way. Like, and again, I come back to the point where you, in your training programs, you're covering everything. So, as a new person coming into running or training or whatever, you know that you're actually going to be covering your nutrition, your training, your core work, um, and, and even all your, all your extra stuff. If you want to throw in a bit of fat loss or weight loss, it's, it's all there to, to, under one umbrella. You don't have to sort of dash off to different places and different bloody apps and all that. It, oh, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. Eh? And so that, that whole your message and my message were, were like bang on. And it just, it was just a, it's, it's a great time to Good sort of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really, and really, really what you, what, what, what you and Neil have, 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 you know, introduced me to. So oh, fantastic. Well, we can't wait to see how you go at the WU2K. Yeah. It's another one of those horrible bloody acronyms. Yeah. Um, we, we, we know you're going to smash it and we know you're going to be doing a strong and we love your passion for the sport and for athletes uh, and the brands that you're bringing to us. Thanks very much, Mark, for taking the time today. And um, Running Hotties, make sure if you're listening to this on YouTube or if you're listening to this on Facebook or if you're one of our athletes already, make sure you go and check out Mark's products, tailwindnutrition.co.nz or 022, the number two, sports code. Dot nz correct yeah, yeah. uh or oh, the the website's just zero twenty and then two dot co dot nz ah. um but either way i mean there's contact pages uh, obviously on, on on both pages and by all means reach out to me phone yep. email do whatever we, we're not a big corporate um uh, you know i do like to people i mean you can probably hear now i i'll talk about tailwind or any of the other brands until you know and, and until you know Gals come home <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So um, you're not having to jump over hurdles to reach some, you know, CEO. Just, just please reach out. There's no silly questions. They've all been asked before. I've probably experienced a lot of them myself. Um, yeah, please reach out and, um, you know. Where are you on Instagram where they can find you? Um, so it'll be the app. Uh, you know, the at sign and then Tailwind Nutrition NZ. So obviously two Ns at the, at the bottom there. Uh, and then on the 022, it's at 022 Sports Co. Excellent. So All right, Mark. Yeah. We'll, we'll wrap that up today. And thanks very much for being on the show. Pleasant. Uh, excellent. Thanks again, Lisa. That's really cool.